Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my eyes on the Falador task system. In this video today, we're focusing on the medium tasks. Now, before we get going through the actual tasks, I'm going to go over a few things which are the requirements and items needed to complete all of the tasks. So first of all, to do the medium tasks, so obviously you need to have completed all the easy Falador tasks, and you will need these quest requirements. Recruitment Drive, Wanted, The Knight's Sword, Garden of Tranquility and Rat Catchers. And for skills, you'll need level 10 Prayer and Mining, level 19 Ranged, level 20 Defense, level 23 Farming, level 26 Agility, level 37 Strength, level 40 Thieving, and level 49 Fire Making. That's it for the requirements, now onto the items. You'll need a Swamp Tar, 6 Willow Branches, a Crossbow and Mithril Grapple, a Bullseye Lantern, um, a Tinderbox, the one on your tool belt will work fine, uh, 3 Sweet Corn Seeds and a Scarecrow. Obviously if you don't have the actual Scarecrow with you, you just need to bring the materials, which is a uh, sack full of hay, which is one of the normal farming sacks. Just go to a hay bale, there's one uh, to the east of Draenor, and obviously fill it with hay. You'll also want a bronze spear and a watermelon so those are the three things required to make a scarecrow you will also need a sea dibber rake hammer and pickaxe again all of those should be on your tool belt um, you'll want a full set of initiate armor which you can either buy from the grand exchange or from sativi Cashine after obviously completing the recruitment drive quest you'll need a ring of Karos activated uh, equipment to kill a level 74 ice giant and a level 33 black knight um, and the other item you'll need is a blue right bar however we will be obtaining the actual blue right ore during the uh, task so don't worry about that unless you happen to have one in your bank um, as well as obviously getting the blue right bar I recommend bringing uh, the runes to be able to cast super heat um, just to save you going to a furnace uh, which is one nature rune and four fire runes and you'll also need to bring a cat with you as well so that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the actual tasks themselves. So first of all, these tasks can be done in any order, you don't necessarily have to do the order that I give you. Uh, the order that I have created is, is what I think is the easiest and quickest way of completing them as one set. You may also find that sometimes the task pop-up window doesn't appear to say you've completed a task, and it could be either one or two reasons. A, you've not completed the task correctly, or um, possibly you have already completed the task before with your general sort of adventures. Uh, across RuneScape so what might be worth checking out is if you've completed any of the tasks already and to find that out you want to go to the achievement section which is by clicking the hero tab which is the helmet of the horns icon go over to achievements and choose uh, Falador from the drop down menu and any task that's got a gold tick next to it has been completed but for the purpose of this guide, I'm going to treat it as if you haven't done any of the tasks. So, without further ado, we're going to start with the tasks. So we're currently at the Port Serim Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. And the reason starting here is the first task is pretty much nearby. So the task is, these aren't the coins you're looking for. And that's to travel from Port Serim to Musa Point for free, using your Ring of Karos. So you usually use the ship to go from uh, Port Serim to Karamja for 30 coins. Um, however, if you have the Ring of car is activated when you speak to one of the sailors it should give you the option to go for free choose that and then after the cutscene and you arrive at Musa Point it will come up with the task being completed and then what you want to do is just head back uh, to Port Serene once again so you can either just take the boat back or re-teleport to the lodestone doesn't matter the next task is called Kitty Litter, and that's to summon a cat or kitten at the sandy patch by the face in Port Serim. Now, um, if you fully complete the Rat Catchers quest, you've probably already done this task, but we're going to do it again just to be safe. Um, so literally, all you need to do is head over to where the face is, who um, sort of is lurking around the docks, just past the fishing shop, I believe, and you should see there's a sort of like sandy area around it, sort of like just the non-grassy bit, I would class that as. All you need to do is get your cat um, out of your inventory so by dropping it uh, and then once you've done that that task should be complete. The next task is called Ice the Icy and that's to kill an ice giant in the Asgarnian ice dungeon. So the ice dungeon is located south of Port Serim and that's also where the blue right is that we also need for another task um, so we're gonna head in that direction now. 
So once you get to the sandy beach just before Mudskipper Point, there's a dungeon entrance. You want to go down the ladder and then basically follow the dungeon all the way around until you reach the icy area. And then right at the far end, there's a load of ice giants and there's also some ice warriors. Uh, just focus on killing one of the ice giants and as soon as you've defeated that, the task will be complete. So the next task is called Do They Come in Other Colours and that's to smith a blue right crossbow limbs on Fergo the Dwarf's anvil. Um, so obviously while we're down in the ice dungeon we want to mine some blue right ore which is just over in this corner here near where the ice warriors are. Doesn't matter if you're being attacked you are still able to mine them. Then once you have the ore, uh, bearing in mind you've brought these super heat runes with you, we can head straight for um, the anvil. Um, Obviously, if you haven't got super heat runes with you, you'll have to go to a furnace first and then come back. The nearest furnace, um, sort of in terms of teleportation, will probably be the one near Lumbridge. But hopefully you did bring the runes with you. So what we want to do is head back outside the dungeon near where we came in. And then sort of down the hilltop, there is Virgo the Dwarf's little hut. And inside is this anvil. So once you're near the anvil, you want to use the super heat spell on your all to turn it into a blue right bar. Then use that on the anvil and choose to make crossbow limbs. And as soon as you've done that, the task will be completed. The next task is blinded with science and that's to light a bullseye lantern in the chemists. Um, so the chemist you'll find in the town of Rimington which is just to the west of Port Sarim. So you're going to start heading that direction and the chemist is in the large uh, house to the south of it. So what you want to do, as soon as you're in um, the chemist, if you've got a bullseye lantern with you, chances are you've probably already got it lit. So if you right click it, you can choose to extinguish it. And then all you need to do is simply click to relight it whilst inside the chemist. And as soon as you've done that, the task will be complete. The next task is called Stoic Sweet Corn Guardian, and that's to place a scarecrow to protect your sweet corn as it grows in the patch north of Port Sarim. And this will obviously require your sweet corn seeds and a scarecrow. Um, so the farming patch obviously is north of Port Sarim, um, so you want to teleport to the Port Sarim Lodestone and then head north from there. Then when you're at the farm, obviously make sure you've got um, your scarecrow built ready. If you haven't got your scarecrow built already, obviously just to remind you what the um, components are, it's a watermelon, a spear, obviously a bronze spear is the cheapest, and a sack full of hay. Uh, you can get the sacks from any of the farming shops, and there's a stack of hay um, to the east of Draenor Village, uh, near the Lumbridge um, sort of mill. And then what you want to do is obviously use your sack on the hay to fill it, and then if you use all three of those items together, you create a scarecrow. So what you need to do is plant your sweet corn uh, in north patch and then um, obviously use your scarecrow in the middle section to plant him and as soon as you've done that the task will be complete. The next task is called Fruit of the Loom and that is to craft a fruit basket using the loom at the farm north of Port Sarim. Um, so obviously we're right near the farm now, um, you want to head into the main farm building itself and the loom is in the sort of southeast corner of it. Uh, what you need to do is use your six willow branches on the loom which will craft it into a fruit basket and once you've done that the task will be complete. The next task is called Is It So Hard To Walk Around and that's to crawl under Falador's south wall. So the agility shortcut obviously as it says there is the Falador south wall and you'll find that sort of north of where the clan uh, Sizzle camp area is. Um, so keep heading in that direction till you reach the agility shortcut. Then when you're there click to use it and once you're on the other side the task will be complete. The next task is they have families to feed and that's to pickpocket a Falador guard. Um, Obviously there's loads of Falador guards around Falador itself so simply find the nearest one and right click to pickpocket him and as soon as you've done a successful pickpocket on the Falador guard the task will be complete. The next task is look spiffy for Tiffy and that's to salute Sir Tiffy Cashin while wearing the full initiate armour. Um, so we're going to go find Sir Tiffy Cashin who can be found in the Falador Park and he's sitting on the bench. Um, and then what you want to do is equip all your initiate armour um, on. Obviously if you haven't bought the initiate armour you can actually buy that from Sir Tiffy Cashin himself. Once it's all equipped in the emote choose the salute emote while standing in front of him and once you've done that the task will be complete. 
The next task is called climbing the walls and that has to grapple up and then jump off the North Falador wall. Um, so you'll obviously find the grapple spot uh, on the Northern wall past the Falador Park. So if you go near where the Falador party room is, I think it's near to the, where the wall is there. Um, you will then see the option to use the grapple so with your mithril grapple and crossbow equip both of them and grapple onto the wall and then once you're up you then should see an option to jump off the northern side of it and once you've done that and you land on the other side the task will be complete so if that was your last task it should have come up with a pop-up message saying that you've completed all the medium tasks and to speak to a relevant person uh, it may have come up before that if you've obviously done some of these tasks already if for any reason it didn't pop up it'll be either one or two reasons is a you're either in combat or you've clicked through uh, the message too quickly so you haven't seen it or b um, you haven't actually completed all the tasks correctly so if it hasn't come up with the pop-up message just double check all your tasks have a gold tick next to them obviously any that don't will mean you'll have to go about completing them again there may be something you've done slightly wrong um, but either way hopefully that's not the case and you've completed all the tasks and now we can go get our rewards so we need to go and speak to the chemist in Remington who obviously we did a task for earlier and um, so you should, guys should remember the way to head to the chemist and speak to him and I'll speak to you in a moment so once you've found the chemist and spoken to him, he will give you the rewards for completing the medium task. So well done guys, that's all the Falador medium task completed. You'd have been given a 5000 experience lamp which can be used on a skill uh, for levels 40 plus. You'll now also have the Falador shield too which has the following additional benefits. So when uh, equipped it increases the farming experience from the herb, flower and allotment patches at the Falador farm by 10% and once per day will restore uh, your prayer points to 50% of their total. So there we go, uh, a lot better rewards than obviously the easier tasks, um, obviously the farming experience is handy for the Falador farm if you do farming quite a fair bit, and obviously with the Falador shield now being able to uh, restore half your prey points it's a lot more useful. Obviously once you complete the hard tasks, uh, the Falador shield will be upgraded uh, to then be used for 100% of your prayer points, uh, and then vice versa when the elite ones uh, are completed you'll get even better rewards. On that note, once the guides for those uh, hard and elite tasks are made, they'll be available in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Um, other than that, I don't think you'll run into problems following my guide. However, if you do get stuck at all, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll help you out as best as I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.